gonna give a huge box of knives we're gonna do another big unboxing check this out huge shipment wow that's gonna be a good thumbnail over here that's for sure it's kind of skinny but still make it look huge so quite a few a lot of unique knives out here let's look at them close up so we see what we're doing first of all we got it here demco shock lock I love these knives, they're like about $150 to $160. Ooh, this one is orange. Beautiful. So this is quite flippy. You see there's a little lock in the back. I have uh, reviewed them many, many times. Looks like there's a Microtech. Let's see what kind it is. Feather. I love Microtechs. These things sell out quickly. So you pull on that, it's just new. What is the serial number on that? This collaboration, uh, 129. Beautiful, tiny little, almost like unboxing knife. But obviously this could be pocket knife, clip knife, neck knife. I love those. Those things are highly collect collectible. Let's keep on going. There's a Men Mentis knife. Uh, there's a number on it instead of a name. Those things are really tight. Nice boxes. I didn't know Mantis actually make quite a few uh, nice knives. I thought it was like okay brand, but I did a little bit more research and they're quite nice. You see, this is super unique folder and it's designed by GJ, G and J Hawk or G, G and G Hawk, whatever, I can't pronounce anything. So those are really fun knives right here. Oh wow, look at that huge spider coil. Let's see what kind that is. Ooh, it's heavy. It says store and small. I don't want to damage the box. There you go. Wow, this is huge mug, mug box. And looks like it's a bunch of uh, torn knives by spider coil. Wow, that's really hefty. That is cool. I never seen a spider coil making a torn knife. Uh, doesn't look like it's sharp. Only the edge is sharp seems to be cool. Because it's torn knives and look at the shift. Nice shift. Beautiful. I like it. Wow, that is incredibly heavy. They look a lot better in person than in the picture. They look a lot smaller. You never know what you're going to get unless you look at the measurements. There's a huge Microtech vintage box. Oh, I know what it is. It's one of those. Um, there's a name for it. Tuck peak. And this is a signature. You see how it's gold? Um, serial number. Oh, wow. This is a 38. Serial number 38. You know, anytime you get a uh, low serial number, that's what you want for the collectability value. And it slides in here really, really tight. Beautiful. Okay, another huge Microtech over here. Oh wow, that's a belt. Check this out, Microtech belt. Beautiful. I might do a different review on that later. Um, there's a name of it. Okay, more spider course. Oh cool, neck knife. A little uh, neck knife spider core. Let's see. Wow, that's tiny. Uh, fixed blade. Never seen a spider core neck knife like that. Comes with the wow, cool, the easy to pull, easy to take out uh, pusher. Maybe I'll do another closer review in the future. We kind of gotta go fast on this one. This are the cheaper spider core seems to be. Yeah, so we did this like probably 50 bucks. I like it. You see how it's not super smooth or nothing. Looks like new thing the spider course do he is giving you a little sticker. That's nice. I guess you can put it onto your laptop. Okay, there's a Microtech pen. Beautiful is that signature. No 2022. You see, locks in and you can use it as a pen and just kind of flips in and out. Beautiful pen. Uh, Microtechs are so nice. Very fun. 
Okay, what is in here? Italian fox knives. Um, let's see what's in here. I have reviewed many Italian. Oh, this is a radius. But this one is very unique. Look at that. Much smaller for what I remember and easy to use. You see how there's a push and it won't to lock. Wow, that is fun. That's probably like $200 knife. Wow, that is definitely second review on that. I have to put it back in a box because I don't want to lose it. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a couple hundred dollar knife over here as well. Look at that. That's also, ooh, it luck. You kind of have to push it uh, with gravity. There's a flip right here and it says on the bottom over here G and G Hawk design. That's cool. You see, it's kind of like a gravity knife. You can open it this way, but all these little latchets kind of in a way, maybe use a flipper. Ow, it pinched me. So yeah, definitely takes a little practice uh, how to use it. This is very unique knife, I really like it. Anything GNG Hack designer, I'm going to love it because I love unique mechanism and such. Very nice box and sticker on it. Okay, Benchmades. I used to think Benchmades are fancy. This is just a bug out, so like $120, $140. I'm not even going to open it. Benchmade and Spyderco are actually not super fancy. I actually like them, but Microtex is definitely a huge step up. Wow, check this out, Le Carbina. That's like for your backpack knife. Definitely very unique. Kind of in a way right here, so you can only use this side of a blade. I mean, I like it. How do you close it? Back lock? Definitely for camping, it's all yellow, so that way you don't lose it. There's a cheaper knife over here too. Um, there's a Mentis, another one. This doesn't really have a name. Oh, wow, check this out. It's like a little coin neck knife. There's a little like thing over here. And how do you even open that? You gotta be careful. Wow, check this out. I think it comes off all the way somehow. We'll do a full review on that one. Oh wow, look at that. So it does comes off from the knife, so you can open boxes and stuff. Of course it's hard to put it uh, together in because it's made by G, J and J Hug. Obviously, very unique mechanism, locking mechanism. Beautiful knife idea for sure. Instructions actually was very useful to put together, but yeah, again, another very unique design. Okay, looks like we have another shark lock. Which color is this? This one is red, beautiful. Maybe the blade is a little bit different too. Love it. Okay, looks like there's a buck knife. Okay, this one kind of unique. There's a button, click it. But if you don't use a button, so kind of useless uh, flipper over here. And there's a, a like a phone flipper or top flipper, but it doesn't really do anything unless you push the button. Very interesting, unique knife over here too. Okay, we have a bunch of tools, multi-tools. I think we're gonna do separate videos on that. There's a bit drives. I kind of like this one because it's really tall. We'll put that to the test. A uh, couple cards. I feel like they give it to me for free. I don't think I bought it. Hook card. Cool. And there's another pretty cool pen. Another Benchman made. Let's open that one. Oh, you know what? That's a pen. Cool Benchman pen. Are they all gonna be pens? I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, this is a fire striker, bench made fire striker. You know guys, I love fire strikers. That's quite unique that they made their own. Looks like there's a little holder inside there too. We'll do a little review on that in the future. Cool, little sticker over here. 
another bench made pan whole bunch of new pans looks like there's a H2 by Benchmade kind of cheap packaging what is this oh another pretty cool tool over here of some sort this is uh, James okay I think this is a pen or some some sort uh, very cool we'll do like maybe 10 tools interesting packaging like it Yes, good driver. Alright, what else we want to get without skipping anything? There's another cheap knife, looks like. Probably under $50. Yeah, super cheap. Let's see. Wow, that is so unique though. That's why I got it. So there's a safety. What is this? So it pulls up. I have no idea how this works. Oh, there's a safety another one. Um, oh wow are you serious that is so cool so there is safety and there's double safety so this is cold you all know cold lock it safety and then double safety you got push on that and this big button oh they don't open it all the way we'll do a full review of that it's so unique you see it uh, to lock it up all we have to do is pull it this way we're on safety that is a crazy safety locking mechanism over here and automatic lock knife or sprint assisted whatever um, so yeah couple more over here what is this there's nothing I will tell you on it oh that one is cool that one is really cool it's like a trifold, I think they called. Interesting packaging. Check this out. Never seen a packaging like that. So, wow, that's light. Carbon fiber. You open it this way and this way. I had a bunch of layer ones, but wow, this is big. Handle is quite loose. I thought it would lock up. So, when you hold it, it's kind of big as on you a little bit. But still, a really fun and thick knife. Wow, that's crazy, that's beautiful. Super, super flippy. Wow, that is cool. Look at that, one-handed. Uh, so just flip it this way and this way. That is incredibly smooth too. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. But yeah, really impressed by this knife. You never know, it looks cool and some of them don't flip that easy. This is the most flippable um, fidgety trifold I've ever seen. What is this? A piece, another belt. This one is a lot more expensive because this is Morphean logo on it. This is like $500 belt. You see it? Check this out. That's beautiful. Again, we'll put them to the test in the future. Love it. I don't know if it's a belt. Yeah, it looks like a belt. And that's it, that's the last one. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I think it's empty. Wow, that was a lot of fun.